The poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Something at the scene. A protein drink? A gun! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. For real? Who was it? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. This shows a switch film. It has to be much more we found front of the shelf. Footprint. Well, that doesn't explain how Sakura got the stuff herself. The prince left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? Yep. That still raises questions, though. Was it just your clumsiness? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. Was it still spilled point? They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. But still leaves question of how the powder was spilled and how Sakura got the powder. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All we have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who... It was me. The footprints. They're mine. Yeah, I got suspicious before. Hina? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, Ogre's killer was... Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Why? Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sneakers are, huh? people who wear sneakers here are... Well... A gun! How many I wear sneakers? Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byakuya. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No! Okay, then let me see your shoes and I confirm the sign for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. Well, I didn't notice that at the start because she was just so usually uh, ready to jump you the gun. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? I... I can't believe it. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. Oh, wow, good job, Hina. You basically proven everything Jakura has said so far right. That's, um, that's, yeah. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. She asked me to bring her that protein drink, but... 
when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And, and then... Hold it. I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. Yeah, but there's still a couple of things I haven't explained. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism, but there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well, that doesn't matter. Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? Oh. No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not. Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Is this just arrogance talking, Piakra? Or did you do something? Are you sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? It's too... obvious. Too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That... that was... I was just... nervous. So... I, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. You didn't notice? Yeah. That's just how it was. What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell What's going on here? The poison and the protein. Why would Hina try to appear guilty? Is it Biakos behind us? But, but how would he? Oh man, this is this is crazy. But how come? That doesn't matter. Oh, it does. Hina, please, I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well, right away, I went to section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. I see. Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. Wow, you are not convincing. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. You get a D minus for that performance. That story you just told. First, you went to section C to get the poison, then moved to section A to get the protein, right? Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Y yeah. Then why wouldn't you just have waited right along the poison if she, you know, was being clumsy about? Well, that's true. <laughs> Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy! I'll push you if I need to! It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long until we figure it out? Until I come the full truth of this case. Oh, Yaku, have you been a naughty boy? If so, I'm gonna fucking break you in half. First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. Yes. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. 
Okay, and then? <coughs> I moved from section C to section A. Yeah, I'm not convinced you did that. No, because the footprints don't work like that. So either you knew the power was there, I was trying to avoid it, which makes no sense you what you just said. You said you went to get the poison from section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from section C to section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from section C to section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? But that doesn't fit what she just said, but she didn't take notice. No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I left the footprint. What the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... What? What the? <laughs> he's... Uh, now he actually said something I don't feel bad about finding funny. He's... Wow. I'm sorry, did we sweep the legs? What the hell? What's going on here? Oh my god, that face! Sorry, back to back could you stand still for a moment? I gotta frame this! I gotta have this hang on my wall! And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. What? <laughs> oh my god! I'm I'm loving that face. Grandpa, could you just keep looking like that? I just wanna see you realizing that this is not working. You realize you made a mistake, right, Mr. Cyan? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you, of all people, would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Your theatrics have been come your doing. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. Huh? A piece of glass. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of light blue glass Kyogo found in the bottle of poison. Here we now, I broke something with the same shade of blue. I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. Did you sample the protein? The protein drink was lying on top of the... You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the record or the window? Told us. I got it! Shouldn't have been on shelf The eight. bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh, um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. I have absolutely no fucking clue how it all is going on, but I want some fucking answers! Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. And who was in the chem lab? Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, 
after Sakura died. Probably in the commotion, which explains why it was on top of the glass. Hold on, you're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked, but how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. Oh, are we moving too fast for PR Korea? I'm sorry, can't you just take your high powered superior high class brain and put it in overdrive? I'm sure you can tell us peasants what we're doing wrong. Do we need do we need to move slow for Master of Yakuya? Us peasants, us common lowlife with no talent, eh? But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Maybe if you rub some of your money together, an answer will pop up for you. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Oh, come on! How can you say that? Oh, he's about to have a break How can you know what I don't know? Oh, 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 oh is that what's hurting you? That somebody knows something you haven't figured out? Is that really hurting your ego? Reasons you can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the room after it was opened. I suppose that's the to protein can any for this. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked. That's not a contradiction. It absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible. Oh, is it? It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It did. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. Because it's on top of the glass. Douche nozzle. 